Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Justice High, released in the year 2020. The movie opens up with a girl named Che Young who can never withstand someone bullying her or anyone else. She is seen walking in the hallway of her school being booed by her classmates and other students. Turns out that she's been suspended from school for getting involved in a fight with a group of students and injuring them badly. After Che Young gets expelled from her school, her father, Dong Pyo, takes her to a new school for enrollment. When the homeroom teacher gets to know that Che Young was actually expelled from her previous school for bad conduct, she urges Che Young to control her anger and attitude or else she will get suspended again. Moments after leaving the teacher's room, Dong Pyo warns Che Young to ignore the bullies rather than confronting them. He then asks her to wait for him and rushes to the nearby washroom. While Che Young is waiting for her father, she notices a group of students bullying a geeky boy, Zhang. The students are accusing Zhang of not helping them cheat in the exams and start beating him badly. In the meantime, Zhang mentions that he didn't let them cheat to keep the examination fair to others who study hard. At first, Che Young ignores the bullying, but when she realizes that Zhang has a fair point, she decides to record the beating. Unfortunately, she's noticed by the group of bullies and one of them asks Che Young to give them her phone. Che Young refuses to hand over her phone and as a result, the bullies attack her. Surprisingly, Che Young fights back with ease and knocks each one of them down. Meanwhile, Zhang is taken aback to see a girl so bold and effortlessly beating up the bullies. The next day, Che Young is introduced to her new class and to her surprise, Zhang and the bullies are also present there. While Zhang gets excited, the bullies are terrified to see her. After school, Zhang approaches Che Young to thank her for saving him, but she asks him to stay away from her. Later at night, two drunk men eat food at Zhang's diner and refuse to pay for it. When Zhang's mother asks for the money, they push her away. Zhang also tries to confront them and act strong, but the men beat him up and go away. In the next scene, while Che Young is walking to her new classroom, the female leader of the bullies, Se Na, stops her and urges to give up her phone. Che Young reminds her that asking about another's phone is a violation of privacy and tries to walk away. Seeing this, Se Na attacks Che Young but ends up getting beaten by her. Afraid, Se Na's bully friends run away from there and Se Na also walks to her classroom embarrassed. At the same time, an impressed Zhang can be seen looking at all this. Again, after school, Zhang approaches Che Young and requests her to teach him karate. At first, Che Young refuses, but when Zhang mentions that he wants to learn to fight to protect his mother, she agrees to help him and brings him to her father's karate training center. Zhang fills out the form and Dong Pyo asks him to join the session the next day. The scene then shifts to Se Na, who is currently at the student council talking with one of the council members, He Sung, whom she also likes secretly. She complains about Che Young and suggests the council take action against her as she disrespected the seniors. Hearing this, Jin Hyuk, the president of the student council, agrees to punish Che Young. On the other hand, after the class, Zhang can be seen at Che Young's father's dojo to attend his first karate training session. He's made to practice leg splits on his first day, causing great pain in his groin. The next day, Che Young is asked to come to the student council where Se Na, He Sung, and Jin Hyuk are waiting for her. Jin Hyuk inquires her about the fight with other students and Che Young clears that she was just defending Zhang from being bullied. After knowing that it was actually Se Na's group who instigated the fight, He Sung lets Che Young walk away from the room, making Se Na and Jin Hyuk angry. In the next scene, Zhang and Che Young are at the karate practice session where Zhang asks Che Young why she prefers to remain alone and silent, despite being so pretty and bold. Che Young replies that she does not want anyone to enter her life and walk out of it without her approval. She knows that none of the friends are permanent and one day all of them will depart. Hearing this, Zhang says that though people walk away, the memories will stay with them. Che Young seems to like his interpretation, but does not speak a word in front of him. Later at night, He Sung, Jin Hyuk, Se Na, and some other students can be seen at a restaurant partying, as a celebration for the return of their friend, Kang Sik. He is the one who got suspended from the school for bullying. The group wildly enjoys the night, while He Sung feels uncomfortable sitting around them. 
Later, he and Jin Hyuk step outside and have a chat, where Jin Hyuk mentions that he's thinking of joining a gang. Hae Sung despises his decision and requests him to opt out of it. Jin Hyuk, on the other hand, tells Hae Sung that he's already met the gang leader, and now he just needs to pay the entry fee to be a member of the gang. The next day, the leader of the gang, Sang Jin, arrives at the student council to meet Jin Hyuk. During the meeting, Sang Jin urges Jin Hyuk to pay the money fast and also lists the privileges that he can have after being an official member of the gang. However, when he approaches Hae Soon, he mentions that the latter can join the gang without any charges. Turns out that Hae Soon is good at boxing, and this is why Sang Jun wants him in his gang. Despite the persuasion, Hae Soon refuses the offer and walks away. In the meantime, Jin Hyuk becomes angry for not being able to collect the required amount of money and feels like beating someone. He then orders Kang Sik to bring Jong to the student council. In the following scene, two bullies from the Jin Hyuk group approach Jong and start bullying him. Jong fights with the bullies with ease, but in fact, the whole scenario turns out to be his imagination. In reality, he ends up getting beaten by the bullies. Right then, Hae Sung notices this and asks the bullies to leave Jong alone. Seeing Hae Sung disobeying Jin Hyuk's orders, Kang Sik intervenes and starts beating him. Fortunately, Che Young arrives there and asks Jong to join her for the karate practice sessions. When Che Young grabs Jong's hand and starts taking him with her, Kang Sik attacks Che Young. To everyone's surprise, Che Young beats Kang Sik quite easily with her unique karate moves. Her fighting skills flatter Hae Sung and he instantly falls for her. After the fight, Hae Sung requests Jong to take him to the karate practice sessions. Following this, Hae Sung also joins the karate practice sessions at Che Young's father's dojo and decides to learn only defensive moves. While Jong wants to learn karate to protect his mother, Hae Sung wants to learn it to be closer to Che Young. However, Che Young does not like Hae Sung as he's also a part of the bully group. Knowing this, Hae Sung clears Che Young that he has left the bully group and wants to change himself. The next day, Song Jin calls Jin Hyuk and pressures him to deposit the entrance fee as soon as possible. With no source of money, Jin Hyuk orders Kang Sik and other bullies to approach the school students and ask them for money as a tribute to the student council. The bullies quickly get to work, and when they threaten a studious boy inside the washroom, Jong notices them and decides to confront them. He tries his best to fight the bullies, but due to his lack of sufficient karate skills, he fails and gets beaten instead. Later that day, a sad and angry Zhang visits Dong Pyo and tells him everything about what happened to him at school. He then requests Dong Pyo to teach him some hardcore karate moves. Seeing Zhang's seriousness to learn karate, Dong Pyo gives him his first task, which is to hit the wooden pile a thousand times with his fists. While Jong is doing his first attack, Che Yung and Hei Sung also arrive and join the session. Following this, the three of them start some serious training and help each other during the sessions. This results in Che Yung developing a soft side towards Hei Sung. In the next scene, Dong Pyo has to go out of town for some work, and he asks the three to practice on their own. As soon as he leaves, Hei Sung requests the others to go out and have some fun. He also mentions that he has three movie tickets and suggests they go to watch movies. At first, Che Young refuses to go with Hae Sung, but when Zhang requests her to go, she agrees. Next, the group goes to the movies, and after that, Zhang takes them to his mother's diner. Zhang's mother is very happy to see that her son has finally made some friends and thanks Che Young and Hae Sung for being with Zhang. Later, Hae Sung and Che Young return home, and on their way, they stop at a supermarket to get some drinks. At this time, Che Young asks Hae Sung about his past and why he wants to change himself. Hae Sung mentions that he's grown up in a very toxic environment where his boxing teacher used to abuse him a lot. He reveals that he has always been around bad influences and finally wants to get out of it and bring his life on a better track. Hearing this, Che Young feels for him and assures him that she will help him in the process. The following day, Hae Sung meets with Jin Hyuk, who informs him that he's finally paid the entrance fee and is now officially a member of the gang. He also states that the gang will now have control over the whole school and the students. Hearing this, Hae Sung requests Jin Hyuk not to do so, but Jin Hyuk dismisses him. Instead, he asserts that he will harm Che Young. This enrages Hae Sung, and the two get into a fight. 
Surprisingly, Hei Sung defeats the bully and leaves him embarrassed. Later, a distraught Jin Hyuk approaches Se Na and requests her to poison Che Yung and finish her. In return, he also promises to help her get closer to Hei Sung. After some time, Se Na messages Che Yung and asks her to come to the student council. When Che Yung arrives there, Se Na apologizes to her for all the troubles she has caused and offers her a drink, which has been poisoned. Meanwhile, she inquires with Che Yung about her relationship with Hei Sung. Che Yung replies that she has no interest in Hei Sung and that he's only a student at her father's dojo. Hearing this, Se Na realizes that she is doing wrong and spills the poisonous drink just in time before Che Yung could drink it. In the meantime, Jin Hyuk enters the room along with Kang Sik and slaps Se Na for not carrying out the plan. Kang Sik then grabs Che Young by her neck, making it difficult for her to defend and even move. Meanwhile, Jong overhears his two classmates talking about Che Young being captured by Jin Hyuk and his men. He then immediately finds Hei Sung and tells him about the situation. Hei Sung in turn calls Jin Hyuk to find out the truth, and the latter confirms Che Young's capture and urges Hei Sung and Jong to come to the school's gymnasium if they want to save her. Wasting no time, the duo rush to the gymnasium and find themselves surrounded by Kong Sik and a number of bullies. As the two are now trained in karate, they manage to defeat all the bullies and head toward the student council to save Che Young. Inside the student council, Che Young is tied to a chair by Jin Hyuk, and when Jong and Hei Sung enter the room, he threatens to kill Che Young if they step forward or try to call the police. He then asks Hei Sung to kneel in front of him and starts kicking him repeatedly. Seeing his friend getting beaten badly, Jong lands a harsh blow on Jin Hyuk, diverting his attention from Hei Sung to him. Despite being trained, Jong still cannot match up to Jin Hyuk's fighting skills and gets severely beaten by him. During this time, Hei Sung manages to free Che Young from the chair and she becomes ready to unleash her wrath on the bully. She easily overpowers Jin Hyuk, and with just a few of her advanced karate moves, she defeats him. In the last scene, Dong Pyo's dojo can be seen filled with a new enrollment of students, especially female students wanting to learn self defense. The movie ends as Dong Pyo is excited to teach the new batch, while Che Young and Zhang wait for their turn. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.